Here's how to fix iOS 18 lag. Now, if you have an iPhone and you just upgraded to iOS 18, but your phone is lagging, it's running really slowly, I'll walk you through steps to get that fixed. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now, the very first thing we'll do is head into your settings, and then we'll tap on general here, and then you can see under about, let's tap on software update. Sometimes some of these software updates, as they're going through the process of downloading or installing them, they tend to lag or get, you know, basically hung up. You want to make sure that you're updated to the latest iOS 18 operating system. And there's no issues here that says preparing to download or starting to download. Now, the next thing we'll do is head into the app store, tap on your name at the very top or the picture at the very top swipe down to see if there are any apps to update. And if it says update apps here, just tap on update all to get the latest version. Sometimes basically those apps are still installed and there's a version that's more compatible with iOS 17 than it is iOS 18. So just update to the latest version. Now, the next thing we'll do is head back into your settings. Let's go back here and tap on battery. What you'll notice on my phone, it says on here, ongoing device setup. Your iPhone is completing setup steps in the background and battery life and thermal performance may be improved once finished. So keep in mind when you upgrade to iOS 18, it's not completely done after it restarts and it's you're good to go. It does a bunch of things in the background that might degrade the performance and cause your phone to be lagging initially, but once that is done, then you'll be good to go. It will improve that performance. Another thing I would recommend doing is just going back here, tapping on general, scrolling to the bottom and hitting on shut down at the very bottom. So just shut down your app, close out of all of the apps and restart everything by just shutting it down and restarting it. You'll free up all of that cache, all of the working memory, everything will be wiped out and then it will just restart a fresh new copy of iOS 18. And then at that point, it should be working a lot better. Keep in mind, sometimes when you just install iOS operating systems that are brand new, there are some bugs or lags or glitches in it. And basically the best option that you have is to go to the software update. You can go to beta updates if you want and download the iOS 18 public beta or the developer beta to see if those lags or glitches or bugs are fixed in that operating system. But other than that, you might just need to wait until any of those are fixed and then your iPhone will run and operate more smoothly. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks.